this example, we have a mass hanging from a spring. The unstretched length of the spring is L naught, but then because the mass is heavy, it pulls the string out, stretching it to a length of L. So we're given spring constant, the mass, and the unstretched length. Find the equilibrium length. Step one is draw free body diagram. So here we have the mass, we've got the weight pulling down, we've got the spring pulling up. So then step two is a signed coordinate frame. Now for that, we'll say X goes this way because we put it in the direction of motion. Then step three is write work and energy equation. Got to identify energies and identify work. So work and energy. Then we'll have, if we say this, at the unstretched state is state one. The stretched state is state two. Energy at one plus work from one to two equals energy at two. Well, looking at this system, is there any external work done? Nope because there's no friction, there's no pushing. So work goes to zero, this means energy is conserved. So kinetic energy one plus potential energy at one equals kinetic energy at two plus potential energy at two. So what types of energy does this system have? Well, in its initial state, then the spring is not stretched and it is here below the zero point. So it'll have no spring energy because the spring's not stretched. It'll have no kinetic energy because it's not moving. Then, because it's state one, it's not moving when you let go. Then it starts moving and then at some point it stops again down here. So we know that kinetic energy state one is zero, and then kinetic energy at state two is also zero because it's come to rest. So here, which is a potential energy at one, and potential energy at two. Potential energy at one is the gravitational energy, and that is going to be negative because it's below the zero. So we'll have negative m g times h, which here h is initial spring length. So it's just hanging out right here below the zero line. Then at state two, it's sunk even lower. So we'll have minus m g l plus the spring has stretched plus one half k times L minus L initial squared. It is helpful to write down the formulas for energy of each type. That way you can just plug them in. Um, once you write them down and use them enough, you'll start to memorize them. But um, until then, it can be helpful to just have an L in a list. So now if we rearrange this, we get M G times L minus L initial equals one half K L minus L initial squared. Well, conveniently, we can cancel one of these L minus L initial with this one. Then we rearrange two M G over K 
minus or plus L initial equals L. So we put the numbers into here and then we get two times 10 times 9.81 over 30 plus 0.5. That comes out to be 7.04 meters. So this, the spring stretched downwards, which makes sense. If LEQ should definitely come out to be greater than L initial because we know that the mass had to sink. Step four here was solve, which we did. So draw a free body diagram, assign coordinate frame, write work and energy equation. We identified the energies we could see from the gravitational force, there's a gravitational potential energy, and from the spring force, there's a spring potential energy. The system wasn't moving, so there was no kinetic, and there were no external forces like friction and pushing, so we know that there was also no work. So we just plugged the formulas in, and we solved out for equilibrium length. 